Hey, big news for all you GTA fans out there. GTA 6 is shaking things up with some major changes in the series. We've got a ton of fascinating info about the game that you absolutely need to hear. Just a heads up, the details we've got are from leaked footage online, but unfortunately we can't provide any links or show it. Nevertheless, there's a bunch of exciting stuff to discuss, like new animals, AI enhancements, RPG elements, and more. Let's jump right in. Fact 1. Excitingly, the Malibu Club and Ocean View Hotel make a return in GTA 6. Events like Lost at Sea Island Camp and Lost Plane suggest potential island scenarios akin to Guarma from a previous installment. Fact 2. While exploring, players encounter a myriad of wildlife alligators, bears, boars, dogs, snakes, raccoons, birds, frogs, bald cats, and rodents. Symbols marking plants and toxic waste are also scattered throughout the game. Fact 3. In the game, keep an eye out for the Scarface crime scene, possibly an easter egg paying homage to Tony Montana. There's also a murder mystery named Missing Tourists. Additionally, spots designated for campers hint at the possibility of owning a camper van in the future. Fact 4 GTA 6 offers an array of side activities, from backyard wrestling and racing to UFO events and beach bonfires. Even seemingly small actions, like picking up cans from the ground, are significant. Jason and Lucia, the main characters, possess special abilities akin to those seen in GTA 5. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. Fact 5. Jason and Lucia's safe house serves as a motel, a central hub for their activities. The game's world features various street gangs, each with its distinct vibe. Characters exhibit different personalities, including romantic, chaotic romantic, cool, pragmatic chaotic, and pragmatic cool. Fact 6. Gameplay enhancements in GTA 6 introduce the option to use zip ties on NPCs for stealth mechanics, alongside the ability to carry bodies, enriching the depth of stealth elements. Fact 7. The gunplay in GTA 6 mirrors the mechanic seen in in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Max Payne 3. It might be worth exploring those games before GTA 6's release if you haven't already. And activities? GTA 6 offers an abundance, from fishing and wild golf to basketball, football, and soccer. There are gyms for training, a yacht club, and even a racetrack. Fact 8. Prepare for a contemporary setting, post GTA 5 events. The game meticulously recreates numerous Miami landmarks, such as a grand tennis court, a bustling football stadium, and a lively amphitheater. The map encompasses an airport and a functional tram system with an airport stop. And that's not all. The Florida Keys and a swampy region named Grass Rivers, reminiscent of the Everglades, are part of the game. Players can navigate swamp boats in this area. Fact 9, GTA 6 boasts a diverse arsenal. From melee options like golf clubs, pool cues, crowbars, and bats, to a spectrum of firearms ranging from pistols to snipers and RPGs, the weapon selection is extensive. You can even personalize how your character handles weapons. Additionally, there's an assortment of throwable items like grenades, molotovs, and Yes, even golf balls. Fact 10. Get ready for some seriously upgraded NPC interactions. Now, you'll have choices such as threatening, robbing, shooting, or restraining them. Some missions will even involve gesture-based actions, taking a cue from Red Dead Redemption 2. Car damage has been ramped up for realism, and the interior detailing is insanely intricate, complete with functional dashboards. Fact 11 weapons are undergoing a transformation in GTA 6, drawing inspiration from Red Dead Redemption 2. Instead of a sprawling weapon wheel, you'll have specific slots for small firearms, melee weapons, rifles, and shotguns. No more unlimited weapons, but you can drop and pick them up along the way. Fact 12. During development, there was a glimpse of Arthur Morgan's hat, although its inclusion in the final game remains uncertain. Players now have the option to surrender to the police during a heist, introducing a thrilling twist. Police response time has been revamped to feel more authentic, featuring a timer that varies based on the severity of the crime. Murder gets a quicker response than robbery. GTA 6 caps the maximum wanted level at 5 stars, and a 6 star level seems highly unlikely in the current gameplay. Fact 13. Let's focus on the characters. GTA 6 introduces us to two two main protagonists, Jason, portrayed by Brian Zampella, and Lucia, played by Alexandra C. Echevari, marking the franchise's first playable female character. You can seamlessly switch between them, and they also happen to be a couple, drawing inspiration from the legendary duo Bonnie and Clyde. Fact 14. Clothing in the game behaves in a remarkably realistic manner. You can accessorize with items like sunglasses, watches, wristbands, and hats, each with various wear styles. The attention to detail is impressive, with sweat, dirt, and wrinkles adding to the overall realism. Fact 15. Internally referred to as Project Americas, GTA 6 had a codename during its development, 
akin to GTA 5, Rush, and Red Dead Redemption 2, Bonnier. Originally, the plan was for a larger map encompassing North and South America, but Rockstar's approach changes scaled it down. Nonetheless, the game promises to deliver a memorable experience with its features and diverse locations. Fact 16. The game incorporates RPG elements like weight and muscle management, highlighted in the Spool Couple Workout Challenge. Leaked footage revealed Jason and Lucia's apartments. For instance, Jason's place includes a bathtub for in-game baths. Fact 17. Rockstar plans to continuously introduce new missions and cities post GTA 6's launch. Whether this expansion is for online or story mode remains unclarified. Expect an enhanced cover system, surpassing what we've seen in other Rockstar games. Fact 18. Don't overlook the Kingston Hotel. It's a bustling spot with pool parties and live music, adding vibrancy to GTA 6's world. Fact 19. A significant enhancement in GTA 6 revolves around NPC behavior. NPCs come in varied sizes and shapes, and their reactions feel incredibly authentic. Wave a gun around and nearby folks might understandably panic. The game also features an intricate injury system, including concussions. Fact 20. Now, let's delve into the stunning visuals and exciting new features. Characters will naturally grow facial hair over time in GTA 6. Moreover, the game world will introduce a social platform called WhatsApp, resembling a playful version of WhatsApp. Excitingly for fans, spoof versions of social media platforms like Life Invader, Facebook, Bleeder, Twitter, and Snapmatic, Instagram, are making a comeback. Fact 21. Let's focus on our main characters, Jason and Lucia, each with their own inventory and a shared one. Your inventory can hold a variety of items like wine, soda, and fruit. Additionally, there's a duffel bag system facilitating easy transportation of supplies and weapons. Fact 22. Rockstar approaches storytelling in GTA 6 with greater caution, avoiding offensive jokes, and being considerate about groups that might feel targeted. The narrative unfolds through chapters, akin to Red Dead Redemption 2 structure. Fact 23 robberies take center stage in GTA 6, spanning from significant heists to smaller scores. There are easy scores like targeting bingo body shops, burnout skirts at Cafe Caraway, clothing stores, food trucks, massage parlors, and more. Moreover, the inclusion of robbing shipping containers elevates the thrill to a whole new level. Fact 24 gameplay takes a significant leap. For the first time in GTA, players can crouch and go prone, introducing tactical elements. RPG elements also come into play, hinting at hunger mechanics and animal interactions, expanding the game's depth. Fact 25 GTA 6's map officially surpasses the size of GTA 5. This time the spotlight is on Vice City, an area inspired by Miami and its surroundings, offering players a vast and diverse landscape. There's even a lake featured in one of the videos hinting at a significant part of Florida being included in the game. Fact 26. Hold tight, the jetpack may makes its return. Shooting from cars is also part of the thrill, adding an extra layer of excitement. Embrace yourself. GTA 6 introduces 18 brand new vehicles to the franchise. Fact 27. In GTA 6, players will encounter various events, including random muggings and NPC-hosted yard sales. There are hints at riding events, which could potentially mean horse riding, possibly involving the Red Dead Redemption 2 team. Fact 28. Police AI has undergone significant improvements compared to the previous game. Instead of blindly rushing in, they exhibit more realistic and intelligent behavior. If you commit a crime and escape in a vehicle, cops will note down the specific vehicle and license plate, making evasion more challenging. Fact 29. Let's delve into the notable emphasis on indoor locations in GTA 6. There's a plethora of diverse interiors to explore. Motels, hotels, restaurants, pawn shops, supermarkets, fast food joints, gun stores, shooting ranges, and the Vice City Metro Station. Great news for GTA fans, GTA 6 is making some big changes to the series. We've got a load of interesting info about the game that you should definitely hear about. Just a heads up, the details we've got are from leaked online footage, but sorry, no links or showing it. Still, loads of cool stuff to share, like new animals, AI changes, RPG elements, and more. Let's dive in. Fact 1 interactions with NPCs are getting way cooler. You'll have choices like threatening, robbing, shooting, or restraining them. Some missions will even have gesture-based actions, like Red Dead Redemption 2. Car damage is more realistic, and the insides are crazy detailed, with working dashboards. Fact 2. Let's talk weapons. GTA 6 is changing things up, taking a page from Red Dead Redemption 2. Instead of a big weapon wheel, you'll have slots for small firearms, melee weapons, rifles, and shotguns. No unlimited weapons but you can drop and pick them up as you go. Fact 3. In the developmental phase, there was a sighting of Arthur Morgan's hat, though it's uncertain if this will make it to the final game. Players now have the option to surrender to the police during a robbery, which adds a thrilling twist. Police response time has been updated to feel more real, displaying a timer that varies based on the crime's severity. A murder, for instance, prompts a faster response than a robbery. The maximum wanted level is capped at 5 stars in GTA 6, 
and the possibility of a six-star level seems improbable in the current gameplay being developed. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. Fact 4. Police AI has significantly improved from the last game. Instead of rushing in blindly, they now exhibit more realistic and intelligent behavior. If you commit a crime and flee in a vehicle, cops will note the specific vehicle and license plate, making evading them more challenging. Fact 5. Let's talk about the strong emphasis on indoor locations in GTA 6. There's a bunch of different interiors to explore, like nightclubs, motels, hotels, restaurants, pawn shops, supermarkets, fast food joints, gun stores, shooting ranges, and the Vice City Metro Station. Plus, they've added working elevators for a more immersive feel. Interestingly, there's a risk of players getting banned from stores, which adds a twist. Fact 6. Moving on to the characters. GTA 6 introduces two protagonists, Jason, played by Brian Zampella, and Lucia, portrayed by Alexandra C. Ekavari, who happens to be the franchise's first playable female character. You can switch between them instantly. They're also a couple, drawing inspiration from Bonnie and Clyde. Fact 7 clothing in the game behaves realistically. You can wear accessories like sunglasses, watches, wristbands, and hats in different ways. The detail is pretty cool, with sweat, dirt, and wrinkles adding to the realism. Fact 8. GTA 6, internally dubbed Project Americas, had a code name during development, like GTA 5, called Rush, and Red Dead Redemption 2, Bonnier. Originally, the plan was for a bigger map covering North and South America, but changes in Rockstar's approach scaled it down. Still, it's shaping up to be a memorable experience with its features and locations. Fact 9. GTA 6's map is officially bigger than GTA 5. This time, Vice City takes the spotlight, a Miami-inspired area with its surroundings, giving players a vast and diverse landscape. There's even a lake in one of the videos that hints at a significant part of Florida being in the game. Fact 10. Hold on to your seats. The jetpack's back. Shooting out of cars is on the cards too, adding more thrill. And get this, GTA 6 introduces 18 brand new vehicles to the franchise. Fact 11. In GTA 6, you'll bump into various events like random mugger encounters and NPC-hosted yard sales. There are hints at riding events, which could mean horse riding, maybe even involving the Red Dead Redemption 2 team. Fact 12. New firepower alert. The spear gun's making its first appearance, letting players shoot underwater spears at their targets. Plus, there's a bunch of gear you can use, like binoculars, cut-off tools, flashlights, immobilizer bypasses, slim gyms, USB drives, tasers, zip ties, and auto dialers. Fact 13. The game has RPG stuff like weight and muscle management, seen in the Spool Couple Workout Challenge. Leaked footage showed Jason and Lucia's apartments. For example, Jason's place has a bathtub for in-game baths. Fact 14. Rockstar's planning to add new missions and cities regularly after GTA 6 launches. Whether this is for online or story mode isn't clarified yet. Expect an improved cover system, better than what we've seen in other Rockstar games. Fact 15. Make sure not to overlook the Kingston Hotel. It's a lively spot with pool parties and live music, making GTA 6 his world even more vibrant. Fact 16. GTA 6 gets more interactive with working CCTV cameras that you can wreck. Be wary of cop traps, spots where cops wait to nab you, and be prepared for intense moments with dirty cop shakedown events. Fact 17. As part of the immersive feel, the game includes DUI sobriety tests, but it's unclear if they're for the player character or random NPCs. Rockstar's focus on detail shines, even with fully working gumball machines in the game. Fact 18. The gunplay in GTA 6 resembles what we've seen in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Max Payne 3. It might be worth giving those games a shot before GTA 6 comes out, if you haven't already. And activities? GTA 6 is loaded with options, from fishing and crazy golf to basketball, football and soccer. There are gyms to work out in, a yacht club, and even a racetrack. Fact 19. Get ready for a modern-day setting, post-GTA 5 events. The game is meticulously detailed, recreating many Miami landmarks like a grand tennis court, a bustling football stadium, and a vibrant amphitheater. The map includes an airport and a functional tram system, with an airport stop. And that's not all. The Florida Keys and a swampy region, the Grass Rivers reminiscent of the Everglades, are part of the game. Players can ride swamp boats in this area. Fact 20 weapons are diverse in GTA 6. You've got melee options like golf clubs, pool cues, crowbars, and bats, along with a range of firearms from pistols to snipers and RPGs. You can even customize how your character holds weapons. Plus, there's a bunch of throwable stuff like grenades, molotovs, and even golf balls. 
Fact 21. One major upgrade in GTA 6 is NPC behavior. NPCs will come in different sizes and shapes, and their reactions will feel super real. If you wave a gun around, folks nearby might freak out. The game's also getting an intense injury system, including concussions. Fact 22. Next up, the amazing visuals and new features. Your character will grow facial hair naturally over time. Plus, the GTA 6 world will have a social platform called What's Up, kinda like a fun version of WhatsApp. And good news for fans, spoof versions of social media like Life Invader, Facebook, Bleeder, Twitter, and Snapmatic, Instagram, are making a comeback. Fact 23. Now let's talk about our main characters, Jason and Lucia, each with their own and a shared inventory. Your inventory can carry various items like wine, soda, and fruit. Also, there's a duffel bag system for easy transportation of supplies and weapons. Fact 24. Rockstar's being more cautious in storytelling, steering clear of offensive jokes, and being considerate about groups that might feel targeted. The story goes through chapters, like Red Dead Redemption 2's approach. Fact 25 GTA 6 is loaded with side activities, from backyard wrestling and racing to UFO events and beach bonfires. Small stuff matters too, like picking up cans from the ground. Jason and Lucia, the main characters, have special abilities similar to those in GTA 5. Fact 26. Jason and Lucia's safe house is a motel, a hub for their activities. The game's world has various street gangs, each with its own vibe. Characters have different personalities like romantic, chaotic romantic, cool, pragmatic chaotic, and pragmatic cool. Fact 27 gameplay tweaks in GTA 6 include the ability to zip tie NPCs for stealth elements and the option to carry bodies, adding depth to stealth mechanics. Fact 28 robberies are a big deal in GTA 6, ranging from big heists to smaller scores. You've got easy scores like hitting bingo body shops, burnout skirts at Cafe Caraway, clothing stores, food trucks, massage parlors, and more. And now, there's even the chance to rob shipping containers, which adds a whole new level of excitement. Fact 29 gameplay is stepping up. For the first time in GTA, you can crouch and go prone, bringing in some tactical vibes. RPG elements are also in, with hints about hunger leveling and animal interactions, adding depth to the game. Fact 30. Excitingly, the Malibu Club and Ocean View Hotel are back in GTA 6. There are hints at events like Lost at Sea Island Camp and Lost Plane, suggesting possible island scenarios like Guarma from an earlier game. Fact 31. While exploring, you'll meet loads of wildlife, alligators, bears, boars, dogs, snakes, raccoons, birds, frogs, bald cats, and rodents. You'll also spot symbols for plants and toxic waste around the game. Fact 32. In the game, watch out for the Scarface crime scene. Maybe a nod to Tony Montana as an Easter egg. There's also a murder mystery called Missing Tourists. Plus, spots for campers are scattered around, hinting at the chance of owning a camper van later. Remember, these details are from development footage, so they might change before the final release. The upcoming changes to the AI systems in Grand Theft Auto 6 by Rockstar. We'll explore a patent that introduces a groundbreaking system unprecedented in gaming, promising a revolutionary shift in how AI operates within games. Additionally, we'll delve into other intricacies concerning AI and non-playable characters in GTA 6, including insights from a job listing at Rockstar's new LA studio, shedding light on NPC dialogue. We'll also examine NPC behaviors in response to their environment and their integration with social media, enhancing immersion and complexity in player interactions. Let's kick off with Rockstar's innovative AI system set to debut in Grand Theft Auto 6. Described by Rockstar as the most significant and immersive evolution of the series, the emphasis on immersion is evident in their patent filings. We'll focus on one particularly intriguing patent, unveiling a new system poised to revolutionize AI in gaming. Considering Rockstar's commitment to delivering the most immersive experience yet, it's evident that NPCs and AI will play pivotal roles. This patent specifically pertains to animations in GTA 6, aptly named System and Method for Virtual Character Locomotion. Back in 2020, Rockstar Games unveiled an innovative system that will debut in GTA 6. Now the details might sound a bit complex, but essentially, this patent outlines a fresh approach to animating characters and imbuing them with dynamic intelligence. These characters will now possess a kind of virtual brain, allowing them to react to their environment, other NPCs, weather, and even their mood, influencing their animations on the fly. Before this advancement, each character's animation had to be painstakingly recorded in a studio equipped with motion capture technology. This process involved attaching markers to actors' suits and compiling animations into what's called an animation tree. This method was resource-intensive, limiting the variety of animations Rockstar could include in their games. For instance, in GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, each NPC had its own animation tree, containing all their actions. Animation trees essentially stack animations, blending them together seamlessly and transitioning between them based on player input and in-game conditions. 
Additionally, motion matching, a feature seen in GTA 5 and RDR 2, automatically selects animations based on player actions and the surrounding environment. This results in fluid and lifelike character movements, such as running while shooting, creating a more immersive experience for players. With GTA 6, Rockstar introduces an innovative system designed to optimize resources and streamline animation data. This approach allows for more content within the game while offering a broader array of animations. It shares similarities with motion matching but diverges in its utilization of a new framework. Rather than relying on conventional animation trees, character animations will be predominantly data-driven, adapting dynamically to environmental cues. These animations will be categorized into distinct motion types, representing unique character styles. Each character will possess a designated motion type, enhancing the depth and realism of their movement. As an illustration, let's consider various states such as tired, injured, and normal, each corresponding to a set of animations. Additionally, every character will possess their own blackboard, a virtual representation of their current state and surroundings. This blackboard stores crucial data including the character's condition, location, weather, temperature, and more. Utilizing this information, the game's code dynamically selects appropriate animations or styles for the character, enhancing their responsiveness to the virtual world. For instance, in the Ocean Drive scene from the trailer, we observe a character seated on the sidewalk. As a group of NPCs pass by, he attentively observes them, reacting accordingly to their presence. With this system, the gameplay experience is poised to become even more immersive. It will prioritize environmental data, including the presence of other NPCs and vehicles, alongside factors influencing the character's mood. Consequently, NPCs will exhibit previously unseen levels of reactivity, shifting focus to a noteworthy job listing from Rockstar's recruitment opportunities. Last year, Rockstar opened a new studio in Los Angeles, from what we know, it's purely a new motion capture studio, so they have another one besides the one in New York, mainly to record NPC dialogue probably. This discovery confirms that. I checked Rockstar's careers page just now, and there's a job offer at Rockstar LA for associate writer pedestrian and ambient dialogue. This could indicate that they are still writing and recording GTA 6 NPC dialogue right now. This suggests that the development team is currently engaged in scripting and recording NPC dialogue for GTA 6. You can find the specific responsibilities outlined in the job description provided. It says, Write funny, character-driven, and unique dialogue for our ambient population. Work with key stakeholders to understand and support the technical requirements for player-led, dialogue-based interactions with our ambient population. Provide exciting dialogue that works within the strict constraints of a complex game system. Undertake self-motivated research and leverage that research to enrich your writing. Understand and match the tone of our games. This underscores the commitment of Rockstar to ensuring that GTA 6 remains true to its franchise roots. Aligning NPC dialogue with the established GTA universe bodes well for the game's authenticity. Shifting gears to another aspect related to NPCs, let's delve into how they'll integrate with social media. Not only will NPCs exhibit more lifelike behaviors and interactions with their surroundings, but they'll also engage with social media platforms, a novel addition to Grand Theft Auto 6. Here's a rundown of the phones observed. NPCs will be equipped with various phone models, as evident from both images and the trailer. Notably, NPCs will actively engage with their phones, which boast fully functional cameras and displays, an improvement over GTA V. For instance, in a scene from the trailer set on Ocean Drive, an NPC can be observed capturing photos or videos with their phone. The displayed imagery accurately reflects the NPC's point of view, suggesting the possibility for NPCs to record and share in-game content on the virtual social media platforms. Let's delve into an intriguing Reddit post that delves into this aspect further. Here's why NPC recorded TikToks aren't as far-fetched as you think. A common speculation point I see on this subreddit is the potential for NPC recorded TikToks for the game's social media that was teased in the trailer. Like someone filming you commit a crime and you later seeing that post online. Many have dismissed this as far-fetched in terms of development complexity, but I wanted to discuss why it's plausible. Firstly, I think we've already seen a system that could serve as a base for building a TikTok-like system, the Instant Replay, Rockstar Editor from GTA 5. Given this game is more of a sandbox with physics rather than a competitive shooter, where replay systems are typically seen, it's even more impressive to consider this system in GTA 5. It accurately records and replays events just as they happened, with every car, ragdoll, etc. Moving just as it did originally in the moment. The tech behind this isn't actually recording like a camera and replaying, it's really just recreating it, which again makes it impressive how much time Rockstar put into it, making it accurate. 
To me, this feels like what could be used as a base for a system where NPCs record their own videos from their perspective. This next thing is something I could have sworn I remember hearing long ago, but can't seem to find, and was hoping someone on here remembers too. Back before GTA 5's launch, there were details revealed through various interviews, magazines, etc., and I remember hearing or reading something about being able to watch your own crimes on Weasel News on the TV. This obviously didn't end up in the game, but there is a slight remnant of it in GTA Online. Am I the only one who remembers this being mentioned for single player though? Maybe my mind is playing tricks on me. Anyways, this last point is actually from the trailer. At the 033 mark, in this scene we see a lot of NPCs hanging out on a busy street, and one NPC in particular recording on his phone. As we know Rockstar's trailers are always all in engine, no CGI cinematics, so I think it's worth noting that it looks as if his screen is accurately showing what he's looking at. My screenshot is zoomed in, but if you got hat mark on the trailer, you can see it matches up to what he's looking up at. Could this be a hint towards said system, or just a nice detail? Rockstar has a reputation for delivering what they showcase in their trailers, often exceeding expectations. Their dedication to enhancing NPC interactions in GTA 6 underscores their commitment to creating a vibrant and authentic game world. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on these developments. Feel free to share your opinions in the comments below.